Hello everyone and welcome to this new video tutorial. If you guys are facing 100% CPU usage, slow computer, non-responsive, tasks taking ages to be performed, then this video is for you. So you might have realized that you have 100% CPU usage by just clicking on the taskbar, opening task manager, opening more details and checking the CPU usage. In my case now I have only 20% usage in average, but a few days ago I had 100% usage on daily basis every minute. In this video, I will provide you with all the solutions which I have applied. You can apply one by one or you can apply all of them and hopefully it will help you to solve the problem as it did for me. Also, you can disable the Windows automatic updates. You want to go to your search tab and you can type services. We'll open this application. You press, you click anywhere with the mouse and you press the latter W on your keyboard and until you reach Windows Update. Once done, you double click with the right button of the mouse and you select Disabled, Stop. It shows as services status stopped. You click Apply and you click OK and you restart your computer. To undo these settings, all what you need to do, you just go back to services, you double click, you select automatic you select apply start and you click ok this is for undoing what we have done this might also fix the problem for you go to your search tab and type services open the services click anywhere and press the letter W on your keyboard and look for Windows search once there you want to make sure to disable Windows Search. Double click, select Disabled, select Stop, select Apply, and then click OK. This will disable the Windows Search. However, you will be able to you will, st you will still be able to use the Windows Search, but it will be a little bit slower. But this might fix the problem for you. But before to check again if your computer has got its normal performance or not, you want to perform a restart of the computer. If this still didn't solve the problem, you want to redo what you have done and go to the next solution. How to redo? Just go back to Services, Windows Search, double click and select Automatic, select Apply and then select OK and it should show as a status running. One of the most helpful solutions to fix this problem is by disabling the Superfetch application. By disabling it, you might see your applications running a little bit slower, but it should not have big impact on your applications. However, it might have a big impact by resolving the 100% usage problem for you. To disable it, go to your search tab. Make sure that you are the admin of your computer and type CMD. Once the application open, click with the right button of the mouse and select Run as Administrator. You want to run it as Administrator to avoid problems and to make sure that it will work for you properly. Windows will show you a little message saying that user account control, do you want to allow this application to make changes to your device? You can go ahead and click yes so that it opens. Once you see this little, uh, this little underscore showing, you can start typing. You can type night.exe space stop space super feature. You press enter. And here there are two uh, two possibilities. It will show you and it will say uh, net.execution stop superfetch uh, the service has stopped or it will show you an error called the service name is invalid, more help is available, blah, blah, blah. If it shows you the second option, the error, I will show you how you can go and fix it. If it shows you that it has stopped, that's what you wanted. To fix the error which appears now, the service name is invalid, you want to type net dot exe space stop system sys main and you press enter it will then show the system main service is stopping this cys main service was stopped successfully what windows has done recently is just changing the super feature name from super feature to cys main i believe that it's system main now that it's done you want to close the the command and you want to make sure that you go and you click restart on your computer once your computer has been restarted you will see if the problem of 100% usage has been fixed for you or not 
One of the solutions which might help you to fix the problem of 100% resource usage, regardless if it's disk usage, RAM usage or CPU usage, is the reset of the virtual memory. To do that, you need to go to your search tab and you type control panel. You open the application of the control panel. If you have view by large icons or small icons, you want to change it to category and you want to click on system and security. You will go again and click on system. Next, click on advanced system settings. On the advanced part, you go to performance and you click on settings. And on the performance options, you click again on advanced and you go to virtual memory and click on change. Here, we are going to untick or deselect automatically manage and we are going to select custom size. Here, when you see this total paging file size, the minimum allowed calculated by the system is 16 MB and the recommended size is 2338 MB, but the currently allocated is 5632 MB, which is much higher than the recommended. You want to open your little calculator to do a little calculation. You go to your system and you, on control panel and you check the installed memory RAM. In my case, I have 12 gigabit already installed. So we will take, you will open the first bracket and you take the RAM of your computer, in my case 12 giga, in your case 4 giga maybe or 8. You multiply by 1024 or 1024, you close the bracket and then you multiply by 1.5. You, you will get this number. We will then go back to enter to the settings. We will just, in the initial size, we will just re-enter the recommended size. In my case, here it shows 2 or 2338. In your case, it might be a different number. And you go to the maximum size and you enter exactly the numbers which you got in your calculator. In my case, it's 18,432. So I will enter 18,000. 432 and you want to click set and then you want to click OK. So we'll click set. OK. Here the system will tell you system properties, the changes you have made required to restart your computer before they can take effect. You want just to click OK and you will be asked if you want to restart your computer. You can go ahead and click apply, OK, and you can click OK. You can go ahead and click restart now once you have saved your work or you can click restart later. Once done, this also will be able to, to help you to solve the problem of 100% resources usage. Again, if it's a disk usage or RAM usage or CPU usage. For this solution, you will need to disable all the software which, which you don't need to be, per, to be starting or working once you turn on your computer. To do that, click on the taskbar with the right button of the mouse and select task manager. Your task manager will load, then click more details and you want to go to start up. Once there, you select the application which doesn't need to be, to, to be running once you turn on your computer. You select it, it shows in blue and you click on disable. You need to perform this for each application which you don't need to be starting once your computer turns on. If you want to use any of this application, it's enough that you go to the to the desktop and you double click on the application and it should be running normally. However, once you restart your computer, it will not be running until you click on it again. If this still didn't solve the problem, you can just redo what we have done now.